I'm Dean Sernils. Thanks for joining us at Master of Mixes. Today we're going to go back to the basics and we're going to answer that question, shall it be shaken or stirred? I'm going to start off with a stirred cocktail, going through some of the techniques and some of the ingredients that you might find in a stirred cocktail. I always start making my drinks off with a big glass filled with ice. If you have your shaker glass filled with ice, that's totally fine. I like to use the clear glass so we can see the ingredients going together and see what's happened. I'm going to make an old fashioned today. As I said, going back to the basics, the old fashioned, one of the uh, first cocktails to ever be created. Here we are, two ounces of bourbon over top of the fresh ice. I want to pour the ice and the bourbon or the bourbon over the ice first so it can start to uh, start to pull some of that water off of the ice. Now I need some orange and cherry juice and some Angostura bitters. I've already got that right here with some cane sugar with the master of mixes. All of those ingredients are in here, including the authentic Angostura bitters. Two to one, two parts bourbon, one part mix. Pouring it over top. And when we stir cocktails, we're introducing the ice cubes and the ingredients a little bit more subtly together. So we just want to stir it around. And what we're doing is we are extracting the cold water off of the outside of the ice cubes. Getting the ingredients cold, but also taking a 15 to 20% water off of there because we need that water to be integrated to make this a, a true cocktail of spirits of any kind, sugar, water, and bitters. Okay? Stirring it. That's your choice as the bartender on how long you stir it. Some want to serve the drink where it's very bourbon forward, and some want to stir it a little longer to infuse the flavors together to make it taste like an old fashioned. All right. And if you happen to have forgotten to bring a julep strainer today, you could just use a big spoon to pour those ingredients over top of a nice clear ice cube. All right. Here we have a stirred cocktail. Again, we stir cocktails when it's just spirits or syrups. We can stir those together. We don't use any citrus when we're stirring a cocktail. Last but certainly not least, we'll garnish this with just a coin of orange, expressing the uh, orange oils and rubbing them around the glass so that when I taste this, the first thing I taste is the orange and not just cold glass. Dropping it in there. Here's a beautiful classic old fashioned. Get on to shaking. Why do we shake drinks? Why all the extra stuff? All right, glass filled with ice. Like I said, we want to start all of our drinks glass filled with ice and again, using bourbon. All right, here's just another way of using bourbon. Two ounces of bourbon. Now let's reach for the sweet and sour mix. This is a combination of lemon juice and cane sugar. Real lemons from California in the master of mixes sweet and sour and real cane sugar. Here we go. Three ounces over top of my two ounces. Now when I'm using citrus and other ingredients, I want to shake this up because I want to aerate the drink. I want to bring air in, but I also want to break the ice cubes open. When we were just taking water off of the outside of the ice in the stir versus busting those ice cubes up, I want to break the ice cube in half and get to the cold center of the ice to chill this drink as fast as possible without diluting it too much, so I better stop talking. Give that a good hammer down and let's shake it hard. Again, you should have shards of ice cubes in here. We're aerating it, getting lots of great froth in this cocktail, and we're adding 20 to 30% water from those ice cubes. All right, look at this great froth on top of that drink. Lots of great bubbles bringing this drink to life. So now when I sip this, these bubbles are gonna pop and I'll be able to smell the aromas coming out of them. And when I taste it, that froth will put all kinds of bubbles all over my tongue and they'll be popping and I'll be able to taste those in the foam as well. So, two great classic cocktails. Back to the basics with an old fashioned, stirred, strained over fresh ice, or the whiskey sour, shaken and strained over fresh ice. Thanks for joining us for Shaken or Stirred. I'm Dean Sernils. Be sure to check out Master of Mixes for more of these great cocktail recipes and ideas.